Hi, first grade. Today, we are going to be continuing working on writing the Wonder Workshop. So, you are going to need your May writing packet. Once you get your May writing packet up, you're going to open up to my research plan. Yesterday, we came up with our research topic. So, my question is, why do people get allergies? Today, we are going to complete our research plan and talk about what it means to research. Before I continue, I want you just to flip your packet to the other side. There is a checklist. This checklist is going to help you make sure you are doing everything we need to to finish our Wonder Workshop. So the very first one says, I have my question or topic. Well, since we did that yesterday, we are going to check off that we have our question or topic. The next part is I filled out a research plan. Well, that's exactly what we are going to be doing now. So again, my question is, why do people get allergies? Next, I need to figure out how I'm going to research, what I'm going to create, and how I am going to share what I've learned. So we'll start talking about the research. There's many ways to research. On our research plan, it shows us we can use books and magazines, computers, or iPads, interviews, and others. If you flip your page, you will see the page that says, I can research with, and again, it repeats, computers and iPads, books and magazines, interviews, other ideas. So computers and iPads. There's a list of sites that you can go to, both in the packet and on the PowerPoint. If you're using Epic, you can search online books. You can also use Pebble Go, which we've used in the classroom before. The other sites, you need to ask a grown-up at home for permission before using. They are not approved by district yet. So if you need to, please ask your grown-up before using those other sites. But they are great ways to find information. The other thing you can do is look at books and magazines. If you have books that might relate to the topic you're talking about at home, you can use those. Interviews. An interview is when you talk to somebody who is an expert in their field. So, for example, I'm wanting to learn more about allergies. Well, if I knew a doctor, I could ask them some questions. You can do this by an email. You do this over the phone. A lot of people ask family members. So there's a number of ways you can do an interview. But an interview is when you ask questions to an expert to get answers. And finally, other ideas. If you come up with any other ideas for research, that works too. Okay. So now we've talked a little bit about these different forms of research. I... I'm going to be using the computer and iPads to do my research because I do not have any books and I'm not friends with any doctors. So I am going to just circle computers and iPads. Next it says create. What are you going to create? You can create a slideshow, a poster, a book, a video. You can make a model. You can create a skit, a display, or other. Other, uh, any other way you want to show us what you've learned is okay as well, as long as you're doing your part and being creative and sharing your information. So for me, I might do a poster, and I'm going to record myself talking about this poster in a video. So I'm circling two because in I'm going to create my poster, but I'm going to share it. Oops. I jumped ahead. I'm so sorry. I'm going to X out the video. Rewind. I'm going to create a poster. Down here, it's going to tell me how I'm going to share it. You can share it with your display through video, a presentation, or others. 
So a presentation is a big word. Presentation means talking to someone. Right now I'm presenting my information to you. So if you were to read your information to me, you'd be presenting it. Or you could create a video, such as if you're doing your skit, you could record it. Or singing a song, you record it using your video. I am going to do a presentation, though. I will present to you what I have learned. So now I have finished my research plan. Your job is to complete your research plan. We're going to keep on going. When you're done with your research plan, you're going to be able to start thinking about the different ways to actually research because starting tomorrow, you will be researching. So the different forms of research, you can start getting your mind around looking at the ICANN research with page. And then I've added in a couple extra pages. It says, if I learned about an animal, what could I research? Well, it gives us a lot of questions to help our brain get going, such as where do they live? What do they eat? Is this animal endangered? Does this animal have any predators? So there's lots of different questions that we can use to help research using an animal, a thing, a place, And an event. So I want you to just start exploring some of these pages, looking at them after you've finished your My Research plan. And we will get all the research started tomorrow. Awesome. Great job, first grade. I cannot wait to see what you're coming up with. Bye for now.